A very good morning to you and a welcome to the shave. Thank you Mrs H. Again some of them from the garden which she's grown herself. Um, well which ones I'm not sure so I better not say. <laughs> it could be the roses, could be the, the lanky things. Right. I fancied a um, nostalgic trip. So I thought well, what I'll use is a modern soap which will take me down that route. Just making sure that's all right. So I can smell it in here already. Master Soap Creations Vintage Spice. Um, very, very close to the original, in my opinion. Uh, from the puck, it's amazing. I, I can only imagine this is what Old Spice, Shulton's Old Spice would have smelled like back when it was new. It's in the bathroom, it's, it's one of these lingerers, beautiful. Scent Strength 6 from here. Beautiful. Um, this razor used to be able to buy these in Boots the Chemist. Um, I don't think they do it now. I'm just making sure this uh, microphone lights on red so I don't want it to go off because I wouldn't know the sound will go. So if it goes to music we've had it. You know the sound's gone. It's a, just a standard, very inexpensive three-piece, non-adjustable. Even though it's a cheap thing, I do look after it. Let me make sure that's. Uh, excuse me a minute. Oh, that's what it might be. Uh, how's that? Is that better? Yeah. Anyway, using that. Very inexpensive, head heavy, it's a plastic, very thin. A similar one to this now would be the Gillette 7 o'clock razor. In there, we've got the false faux horn bowl, of which I put some soap in the bottom. And the brush is a ball brush today, giving that an outing. And this one is the Samog 820. Um, I had a question when I was using these regular before the synthetic sort of took off. Um, this is the 820, that's the 830, it's nothing to do with the colour. A lot of people thought the red one's 830, black is it? It's the knot. So if that knot was in here, it would be an 820. So that's an 830 because of this band. That's an 830, it's the knot, that's a white knot. That's been soaking, that's why it looks like this. Uh, so that's the 820. So that's that. Well, I can leave it out now. So we'll start creating this beautiful lather with the anticipation of it maybe hogging a bit of the soap so it should do okay though. And remember this bowl is smooth, there's no ridges, no lumps, no bumps. <laughs> oh the scent is amazing, like, spot on. Master Soap Creations. Another good one is a uh, Barristan Man. Of course, I've I've tried that one. But I gotta say, in my opinion, for my nose, this one just takes it to the just uh, you know, like the original, just that little bit more. Amazing. So. As you can see, we've used up all that soap off there. This is lovely. Just a touch of water. So any plans today, eh? If you're having a shave, shave of the day, please. And meal of the day. And we'll come to that in a minute. There we go. But I can tell you now, there's no uh, meal of the day for me because, uh, well, there is a meal of the day, but I don't know what it is yet because we're heading out. Out for lunch. Out for lunch, right. So we'll start to wet the face, give it a good rinse, and then uh, land up. I could have easily give this soap if it didn't show the just a bit of soap 
give this, say the lather bowl, if I give that to my dad and say, what's that? He'd have said, Old Spice. Because he only knew the Shulton. Because uh, they were the only people that made it. But, uh, same as the vintage Fabergé they do. Image of Brute. Amazing job. You check them out. So if you can get an original Shulton Old Spice or a um, Fabergé Brute, I would highly recommend trying these. It's the it's the nearest we're going to get. I right, put that over there. Remember to empty this. Do you ever soak a brush in and then you forget? I do sometimes, not so much lately because I can usually I'm quite good, methodical, but I suppose it's with filming you see and chatting. Okay, we'll heat up the boots, the chemist razor. These are only a couple of pounds, I think they were two, three pounds. I think the dearest I remember was 3 99 Um not always in stock, boots were terrible, they'd stock them, locally, there for a couple of weeks, for a month, and then they'd go, and you wouldn't see them for months and months, and, and then all of a sudden they'd come back. Um, I'm not sure if they sell D razors now, I must check actually, in the local, I haven't put the blade in. Now how many people have done that, and I haven't cut it out, some people would cut that out, I'm not going to cut it out, because it's, it's part of life, it happens. And the <laughs> the blade is going to be a third use high uh, high stainless feather. See now there is overhang to be aware of. Forgot to put the blade in. <laughs> Good grief! Here we go. Try again, shall we? That's more like it. The slickness is unbelievable. Straight from the get go. From the get go. This is this is a. Excuse me a minute. I don't know why it's um, zooming in on its own. Ooh. Is that you, Dad? Now it has a bit of bite this razor, it's not a standard aggression, I'd say it's just over a standard, a middle, a medium. As you can feel the blade exposure but it feels very nice. Really happy with it. That is lovely. So far, brush is doing very well. Bit of water. Mm. Well, I gotta say, even though this is, see. Ball brush it is very very soft. Wow. 
Yeah, so any plans the weekend? If you're shaving, after you've shaved, are you working? Thanks for your service. If you're not working, you're heading out for lunch, barbecue, family, friends. Across the grog, here we go. It's a razor that was inexpensive. It works. And it was made pure and simply to do the job. Slickness is very good in this soap, as I say. And that builds up as it's, uh, I'd love to know why this is doing this. And that builds up with each application. It's a good razor. Well, Friday was a lovely day because a few days last week it was terrible. It was for July, it was cold, it was dark and sort of showery. But apparently, we're supposed to have, if they're right, a nice week this next week, so we'll see. That is lovely. Rinse again. Yeah, fantastic. And uh, off we go. Smell that, go on. You can't beat it, can you? Look at that, beautiful, easy to lather. One of the best classic scents, good slickness. I ask no more. Here we go, against the growth. Yeah, we're heading out today for lunch. Um, I'll drive there and Mrs. H will drive back, she said. Beautiful. So you know what that means, don't you? I can sample a few uh, cold ones on the old pump. Not sure if I'll have sort of a traditional roast or a, something different. We'll see. Wow. Yeah, I've caught that. See, I've done that a few times.
Perfect. It is warm. Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. Let me make sure you're out. See? I, I don't know if there's something catching on there. Excuse me, it's not very professional, is it? And yeah, I'll check it after. What does this do here? Yeah, that's a zoom as well, isn't it? Anyway. Don't fiddle. I think you're just about to uh, made enough there. Brush has been excellent. It hasn't hogged the uh, soap. Which is some kind sometimes can um, my ball brushes, especially the Samogs. They're a lot of, especially the A30, the red one, red handled one, but the banded knot. Um, had a lot of use for years, you know, so they what they call very well run in. Perfect. Cold water rinse. Lovely. That is lovely. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. That is nice. So I'll show you now what we what we look like. I did open a little dot there, didn't I? I think that's a from. So this one here, I'll probably open on Wednesday if I don't you know, don't remember it. I'm gonna try and you. This is boots as well. Boots of the chemist, tea tree, and witch hazel. We get to the end of this one of these days. I think we've got the Phantom Witch Hazel filler coming in. Do you remember I said that, that was a what did I say that about something? Could have been one of the witch hazels. It just seemed to never go down. So I said, oh there's a phantom. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's witch hazel. I think there's a phantom witch hazel filler coming in in the night. <laughs> and then we're gonna use the matching aftershave. Um, good stuff. Oh, I'll give it a... Oh, I like the bottles on blue bottle. Oh, that's nice. There's something in that, isn't there? Yeah. That is beautiful. Oh, yeah, you'd like it. You'd like it a lot. And then... I'm just going to use some of this Nivea Men Sensitive Pro Ultra Calming Facial Balm and it's got this 100% hemp seed oil. But the aftershave does have some something in it. That is good stuff. Good stuff. There we go, just rinse the hands. So we've used Boots the Chemist. They're very inexpensive. Um, not always stocked. <laughs> D razor they used to sell the Wilkinson Salt Classic as well. Um, but this was their own little sort of brand. We never branded on the head or nothing, but this was like the, I expect Gillette 
seven o'clock or Gillette made them for them um, I don't know but um, all, almost identical razors so that's the Boots razor very nice as I say it's a medium aggression but slightly above it has a good blade feel to it so slightly more aggressive than standard the false horn bowl we've used the Samog 820 bore brush the white uh, knot really nice and soft um, the main ingredient in this shave was the Master Soap Creations Vintage Spice, one of the nearest to the original Old Spices I've ever smelt. It's in here, it's fantastic, it's one of these lingerers, I love that. Because um, that's how the old Shulton Old Spice was when my dad used it, because it was new then obviously. And you could buy them, yeah, I can't imagine that now, just walk to Boots the Chemist and buy a Old Spice please, shaving soap and a aftershave for not a lot of money. God, if I only knew then what I know now. Then we've rinsed with water, boots the chemist tea tree and witch hazel, um, the matching aftershave, and then this uh, Nivea uh, Pro, uh, sensitive, sensitive, I'm trying to do with no glasses, sensitive pro, ultra calming facial balm, beautiful. Look at this. I'll get a bit of, um, well, I might just leave these just leave them to, I'll just keep wiping them, then uh, they'll never heal. <laughs> no, if they carry on, I'll put a bit of step, uh, styptic pencil, but should be okay. Nice and close. So thanks for watching. Sorry for the waffle. Um, have a great weekend. Good shaves if you have any. Please stay safe, healthy, and, pra you know, have a laugh if you can. And uh, make someone else laugh, which is even better. Um, and that's it. Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching and the time for the comments. I really appreciate it. Have a, yeah, have a great weekend and I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. So all the best. Thank you very much and bye-bye.